Hello and welcome to this IBM RPA tutorial. My name is Vinicius Maidana and I'll be showing you on this video how to use email with OAuth on IBM RPA. What you're seeing on the screen right now is how email connections used to work on IBM RPA with legacy authentication only. We are getting the email account credentials from our vault here. Then we're connecting to an IMAP email server, in this case, Outlooks. After that, we're using the read email command to read all emails in the inbox. OAuth is an open standard for access delegation, commonly used as a way for internet users to grant websites or applications access to their information on their websites, but without giving them the passwords. It is a much safer authentication method, and IBM RPA can also leverage that method for connection to various applications. On this video, we'll look into how to configure this new authentication method with the SAS version of IBM RPA. The method for the on-premises version will be shown in another video. After the IBM RPA upgrade to version 21.0.5, when you log into your RPA control center, you will see the connections option on the left side menu. To begin setting up this new authentication method, we need to navigate there first. This section is empty and we haven't really configured any connections yet. So let's start by clicking on the Create Connection button. From this window, we can start actually configuring the connection. First, we'll name our connection and we can give it whatever name we want. I'll name mine here as Outlook Email Connection. Next, we need to pick what application we'll configure the connection to. As you can see, we have several options here like Dropbox, Gmail, OneDrive. In this case, we'll focus on email connection with Outlook, so we'll choose Microsoft Exchange IMAP. Up next is the technical name for the connection. The technical name is the name your bots will actually refer to when it uses the connection you're configuring here. Think of the name as the connection's label and the technical name as its actual name within the bot script. Unlike the connection name, the technical name cannot contain any spaces or special characters, and as you can see, the control center already created a technical name for me, and we can use that if we want, or we can create our own. So we'll use upper camel case here to use the same name as before, Outlook Email Connection. Keep in mind that while the connection name can be edited at any time after the configuration is finished, the technical name is permanent. It can never be changed after being saved. The last parameter we need to look into here is the shared connection toggle. Basically, if we want to share the connection we're configuring right now with other tenant users, we need to enable this parameter. If it's disabled, only your IBM RPA tenant user, that is the user who's creating the connection, can use it. Keep in mind that when running on schedule, the IBM RPA bot won't really use your specific tenant user or any other user account for that matter. So if you want to use this connection in production, you need to enable share connection. So I'll toggle it on here. Okay, now all we need to do is click on authorize. A pop-up will appear directing us to the authorization page of the application we chose. Here, all we need to do is sign in using our username and password. Here, I'll choose to not stay signed in. Now on this authorization page, you can see what kind of permissions IBM RPA needs from your account. So now I'll just click on yes, and that's it. Our connection to Outlook is ready to go and the process is similar to any other applications you wanna use like uh, Google Drive or OneDrive. Notice that now we have one connection listed here, the one we just configured. If we ever need to edit it, delete it, or even reauthorize it, we can use the ellipsis button to the right here to expand the options for this connection. Now, back to RPA Studio. We have a script similar to the one we saw at the beginning of the video to test our connection. Only now we'll also try to send an email rather than just reading. Let's take a look at the connect to IMAP server command. You notice that now on version 21.0.5, we have a new parameter called authentication type. Here, we can choose between basic authentication, which is the same legacy authentication method we were using before, or the new integration connection method. This new method is what we'll be using. This changes the parameters displayed on the command configuration window. Now, instead of the username and password parameters we've had before, we have the connection parameter. 
If we expand the drop-down menu from this parameter, you'll notice the connection we configured on the control center earlier. All connections created in the tenant will show up here, so you can choose any connection. However, you can only use one in execution if you were the one who created the connection or if the user who created the connection enabled the share connection parameter. If you try running a bot using a connection you didn't create and that doesn't have the share connection parameter toggled on, you will get an error. So let's choose our Outlook email connection here. The IMAP server address, port number, and all the other SMTP parameters from Microsoft are still needed. We already got the IMAP configuration done, but since now we want to send an email using this connection, let's fill the Outlook SMTP data. Now all we need to do is click on Save to save the commands configuration. We also don't need to get any credentials from the vault anymore, since we won't be using those to connect to the email here, so I'll just comment out the get vault item command. All right, now let's just run the bot and see if it works. The bot has already finished running and we can see the emails it read from our Outlook inbox here on the console. We can check our inbox here on the browser to confirm those are indeed the emails we have, including the email we received for connecting the Outlook account to IBM RPA. We also sent an email. We can see that on the send email command here. We can also check that this email was indeed just received by navigating to our Gmail inbox. And that's how you use the new OAuth connection feature on the SAS version of IBM RPA. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And as always, have a good one.